All right, welcome to Beethoven, and uh, this is the first segment that we're gonna have. Uh, first of all, we're gonna have Mauricio, which is my good friend. Uh, we've been friends a long time, and uh, this is also the first segment uh, where we're gonna have a video feed. So he's gonna be doing a review in. And where are you? I am in Mexico City, Ecatepec, Mexico. Very far away. Very far. Uh, good to yeah. have you on your show, man. He has a great palate. He can uh, he can spot a hop down to the person who picked it, man. He's a uh, he got a great taste for beer, and uh, yeah, just a privilege to have you on the show. Today we are drinking cerveza dos x amber edition. Dos x. Yeah, I think you can see that right there. I don't know. That's drink all here. I know. But when I do, I prefer those eggies. Those eggies, huh? All right, brother. Yep. So it's uh, so the beer I'm having uh, reviewing today is going to be um, a re a ruination. Ru it's a double IPA. Ruination. Yeah. Uh, Eight point five, twelve ounce bottle. Um, yeah, a hundred uh, IBUs, mm. and uh, they rate this beer as a 99. It's fresh for 90 days, so we gotta crack it open right now. Nice. So uh, it. it's, it's and then and it's the stone. I remember having this beer a long time ago, and then I didn't like it just because mm -hmm. I knew it was just way too bitter. Like mm -hmm. I don't think my taste buds were ready for it. So I'm going to try it again, um, and hopefully it's to my liking. So mm -hmm. I heard it really stinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm going to crack them open. All right. You brought your bottle over. I finally remembered it today. Look at that. I always forget them. Open it like that. Uh, I always forget the bottle opener. I'm so busy like with camera angles and like trying to figure out the lighting and sound and I'm like, okay, finally I sit down and I was like, press record and then, oh yeah, I forgot the bottle opener. <laughs> Classic. But here's the port. Actually, I'm still having trouble with the bottle opener. I need that one book. I don't open a bottle for dummies. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man, an hour later. Wow. An hour late. One hour later. You should have saw yesterday's uh yesterday's untapping. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Oh uh, I can see what they're talking about with this beer. The hoppiness, man, they they plowed a whole field to get all these hops in here. Wow. Yeah, they plowed a whole field, man. And here's a beer fact for you, Mauricio. What's up? Did you know that there's a shortage of hops? Really? There yeah. is? There's a shortage of hops because, first of all, uh, the conditions aren't right for uh, most of the places here in California, so they have to go outside of California. Uh, and they went when they write their contracts because these places are so popular and it's such a demand for hops that they have to wait for three years in order to get the hops that they want. Three. So three years. And so companies like this, like Stone, mm -hmm. man, they they have to write their contracts three years in advance prior to making their prior to making their, their beer. Man. So there's a there's a shortage of hops out there. I, ho I just hope beer doesn't get more expensive. Yeah. I know. That's just oh, my man. Okay, I'm gonna taste mine. Hey, double IP. Taste right? mine. Okay. Uh, you can see the. I'm gonna look at it, it. It's actually, I think, like a. They told me it was a lager, but it's actually 
way darker than the logger. Yeah, yeah, there is. Right? I don't know. All right? Mmm. Doesn't smell like Mexico. <laughs> Doesn't smell like Mexico. <laughs> very light, very watery. Uh, no bitter aftertaste. Mm, it's very, its taste is very vague. How's that, how's that, the, uh, the malty, maltiness? Is there any malty, uh, malty flavors in there? No, this is a yeah. uh, multi list. You could taste like this much of the malt. Just one of those beers that the, they just reproduce <clears throat> over and over again. Beer that gets filtered over and over again. They want to give that purification. Yeah. Sometimes it's filtered too much, then you end up with bubbly water. Bubbly water. No good. That's what you get with most of the beer like, reproduced. Yeah. Sounds like I'm being biased, but this is just my personal opinion. You know, Go for it. I, I do have this is, These are beer reviews, man. Honest yeah. opinion about beers. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's one of the one yeah. of the reasons why I started this. Honest opinions about beers. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So just just have at it. Like the day before Armageddon, what beer are you gonna drink? I would. Would it be this beer? Like what? This beer. Like what if you were in prison, and then, and then somebody brings you a. a like a bunch of bottles of like Coronas and Modelos and then like they have like two or three Dos Equis. Would you like grab a Dos Equis? No, I probably wouldn't grab a Dos Equis. <laughs> no. I might end up just getting <laughs> You might just end up killing yourself and just saying, yeah, just, I just stop. Um, solitary confinement, please. <laughs> Did you change your cup? No. No? That was the same cup you showed me the first time? This one? <laughs> no, no, I did change it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I wasn't going to notice. I know, because I, I, like, I'll, I decided to review this beer instead of the other one. Because you went uh, the stickies, So I just like did this yeah. one because the other one is a... Uh, Oh, and please uh, make sure you click subscribe and like our videos. Um, if you like beer, you would like this video. I always forget to say to give us a like. Or just like say like three, four times. Or, or if you really don't like this beer being reviewed, then you could give a dislike. Yeah. yeah. Not unless you dislike the beer that we were reviewing. Reviewing, I said reviewing. Okay, reviewing. Then, in that case, you could like the beer you dislike in this video. See what I did there? You're going places. I'm completely gone. Here's another thing about this beer. You can open the door. Is uh, these hops are all mixed really, really well. Good job, Stone. Mm -hmm. You've done it again. Since you already used like a rating system. Um, one to five. I'll give this beer like a like a four point two. A four? Four point two. Four point two. Okay. Dos Dos Equis um, Ambar um, Amber. Mm -hmm. So that's a uh, Moctezuma. So it's from Moctezuma. I give this beer rating from one to five a two, one and a half. One and a half. One and a half. You're being a little generous. One and a half. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also one thing about this beer, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend buying it if you haven't tasted IPAs yet. If your palate is used to IPAs, go for it. Uh, try it out. See if. See if it'll, it'll suit you. If not, if you haven't tried m many IPAs, um, it's gonna it's gonna like just overwhelm your palate with just bitterness. Um, so, just.
just to keep in mind. If I was lost in the woods or in the desert and I had uh, a bag, right? And within this bag, I had a lighter, I had a bottle of water, and a dose I keys. I would drink the bottle of water and pour out the dose I keys. <laughs> and that's the truth you get from beer time. That is the truth you get. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Laters. Hey, thanks again, Mauricio.